Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. You are in the place to be to help you find fragrances that you love. I am Tiff Benson. Do subscribe if it's your first time here. Also turn on your notifications so that you can be notified when I post here. Today's video is going to be about my scent of the day which is Tom Ford's White Suede. Absolutely in love love it to pieces. I got it in a friendly little travel size bottle which I've been obsessing over. I think it's super cute, super chic. So without further ado, give this video a thumbs up right now. It definitely helps the channel out and let's get started. Also make sure to follow me on IG and TikTok because that is where I am when I am not here on YouTube. That is where I post my daily fragrance content and you don't want to miss out on it. So this is my scent of the day, Tom Ford's White Suede. Let me know what your scent of the day is in the comments right now. Your girl is super curious. Here it is. Let me show it to you in all of its glory. Hopefully you can see that and hopefully it's coming through clear. This is... A travel size of Tom Ford's White Musk. I decided I would get it in the travel size because for me personally, I have so much fragrance now. Like, it's starting to be a problem going through all of my fragrance. I feel guilty and I feel bad and I just... You know, I have like a lifetime worth of fragrance, um, but what I don't have is a lifetime worth of travel size fragrances and nice packaging, which is why I bought this one. Hopefully I will be traveling soon and I'm sure a lot of you out there are looking forward to traveling again. So just saying, if you're like me and you have a lot of fragrance, get the travel size because maybe you'll get more wear out of it. I think it's a good look, especially because Tom Ford scents are so expensive. So let's jump into the notes with this fragrance. So this came out in 2009. I remember it was released with the Musk collection. I personally liked Pure Musk. That was my favorite. Actually, my mom took that away from me because she loved it so much. And then I was devastated when it was discontinued. But anyway, White Musk was also one that I liked. I also liked Urban Musk. But anyway, to let you know, it came out in 2009, which was eons, eons, eons ago. It's a floral, woody musk fragrance. The top notes are thyme and tea. I'm going to spray it on the back of my hand. Middle notes are lily of the valley, saffron, and rose. Base notes are suede, musk, sandalwood, amber, and alibinum. Now... Can we talk about what you get when you spray this on the skin? The opening to me is so beautiful. It is like a clean musk. This is a musk that you can like wear every day. It's called white suede. To me, this is almost like a musky scent. <laughs> Although I do have to admit, I was going through my leather jackets collection and I said to myself, I really need a leathery scent, you know? So then I started looking and then I started thinking about it and I ended up getting this one because it does have a leathery note to it. It kind of reminds me of like beautiful suede gloves, which is a moment, you know? It's definitely a moment and it's a wearable leather, something that I would not be afraid. It's definitely not Tuscan leather, you know, or ombre leather. Those are like leathery scents, which I own both of them. I also own uh, Fabulous, just throwing that out there. But this leather is the obvious choice for me because it's the most wearable and it's also very clean and I like that. I like that a lot. <laughs> Just to give you a quick packaging moment, um, this comes in with the outer container. I think I spent like maybe a little under $80 for this. It has a magnetic cap, which is pretty awesome. And then you can always switch this out and change it. I believe too, this is, yep, this screws open. So if you need to refill it with actual, like another fragrance, you can do that. But I would probably keep white suede in here just because I, I don't like to mix. I just kind of like to keep it clean like that. Um, so anyway, yeah, perfect for travel, perfect for just popping it in your bag. And I love that. The dry down is very suede -y. 
and woody and musky. It's a beautiful, beautiful musk. I've been wearing this to bed and waking up and like showering and then spraying this on again. It's super clean and very versatile, which I really, really like. When it comes to longevity, it lasts probably about six to eight hours, sometimes even plus if you spray it on your clothes. But I feel like this projects really well. As far as Siaj, you can definitely smell it around you. Um, and it's a pleasant, leathery, musky smell that you get in the air. I love how this radiates off the skin in the summer hot weather. I'm really excited to see what it does um, in the winter and cooler months. Although I think it will be stunning. I have a feeling it will be stunning because just of the way it projects in the summer, I know it's gonna project well in the winter. I just have a feeling about it. I I don't really own many musky scents in my collection so I'm happy to have this one especially in the travel size so I can take it with me everywhere. As far as compliments, it's COVID, you know what I'm saying? So I'm not really going out and I'm not out there kind of like testing it to see if I will get compliments with the fragrance. But I know if I were to smell this on someone, I would be like, damn, you smell good. You smell really, really good. Um, I definitely would give a compliment if I were to smell this on someone, for sure. And versatility, like I said, I think it's very versatile. I feel like you could wear this in the office, you could wear it on an evening out. It smells luxurious. It doesn't smell like a cheap musk or a cheap leather. It smells like a fine fragrance and I like it a lot. Leathery but clean, um, musky and very easy to wear, which when it comes to leather scents is kind of rare. So I like that. Personally, I've just been wearing it to <laughs> around the house to the grocery store <laughs> when I'm testing it well when I was testing it at Neiman's I was like Oof, let me just you know luxuriate for a moment spray it on and see what I thought and that's what ultimately led me to purchase it I'm very happy with the purchase so I would highly recommend it so let me know down in the comment box, what's your scent of the day? Your girl is super curious, but also let me know, have you tried Tom Ford's white suede? I'm super curious. I need to know. What are your thoughts? Spill the tea in the comments. The conversation continues in my private group, The Fragrance Society. It's my exclusive newsletter where I send out every week, every Friday, to let you know of all things good and bad happening in fragrance. We discuss new releases, we discuss things happening in the fragrance world, so make sure you sign up, subscribe, so that you can stay in the know and keep your fragrance game on point. So thank you so much for spending time with me here today. You know I appreciate your love and support. Don't forget to watch what's up next, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye.